Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. Almost four years after a paper carrier was hit by a car fleeing police in Rutland, Donald Brody was found guilty Friday of being behind the wheel. While Brody claimed a series of confession letters he wrote to police in 2014 were part of a plot to get the charges against his friend, Nathan Fall, dropped, Justice Martha Devlin found this explanation absurd. He continued writing confession letters months after Fall's charges were dropped in June 2014. Brody is expected to be sentenced November 15th. A contentious rezoning application was approved by Kelowna City Council Tuesday night during an extended council meeting that saw 60 people say their piece. Council approved a four-story housing project in Rutland for men recovering from addiction. Many in the neighborhood where the project will be built spoke out against the development, citing safety concerns. Council passed the proposal by a vote of 6 to 3. The city of Penticton will spend $200,000 to get out of a 29-year lease with the Trio Marine Group, the company that was planning on operating the Skaha Lake Marina beyond 2018. The original proposal included water slides and the use of park space, but public backlash scrapped that plan. Mayor Andy Jacobite said future decisions around park use would involve more community engagement. Four vehicles belonging to one person caught fire in a vacant lot in Glen Rosa Monday, and the blaze spread into the surrounding bush. The fire, which grew to 30 meters by 30 meters, prompted a large response from the West Kelowna Fire Department. Fire crews believe the fire was human caused, and they are considering it suspicious. A tent city has sprung up on Vernon's 25th Avenue Linear Park, along the side of the road. The tent cities appeared following city council changing bylaws that only allowed camps in city parks from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. Councillor Scott Anderson says the city doesn't have enough resources to solve the issue on any level. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net. <laughs>